All right, guys, so I'm just at Queensbury Boxing League and I've just had a random person come up to me and uh, apparently he's John Martin and he's fighting ID Hill for his title next month. Yeah. How are you doing, John? Yeah, I'm really well, thank you. A bit excited for next month. Um, he's coming down the weight uh, and I'm sitting at it, so I think he's going to struggle. But what I'm worried about is after I deal with him, then what happens? Do I fight him again for his belt or does he vacate it and I have it? I don't, I'm not sure. Well, unfortunately, I can't answer these questions. This is a question we're going to have to put to Alan Foley and Ross Minter. What happens after he beats I ID and takes his belt? Does he have to fight him again? Yeah, so, like, does he deserve another fight against me? But that's basically what well, I want. Well, 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 let's not jump ahead too quickly here, right? Does he deserve another shot? You haven't beaten him yet, for starters, and... For say, for example, you do beat him, but you might not beat him that well. Yeah, yeah so let's just yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's not get ahead of ourselves on that one. So, <laughs> so the reality is, I want to do a really good performance. Um, make sure that I don't give him the opportunity to fight me again. Um, try and outclass him, um, and just stick to my boxing. I can see that he's quite a bit of a lump. So, um, I'm not going to get into a war with him. I'm just going to stick to what I can do, box, and I'm um, just let the boxing do the talking, really, mate. So, I mean, I was going to say to you, ID is uh, he's the title holder for the Queensbury. Um, it doesn't phase you at all? No, not really. I've got the light welter. He's got the welterweight. Um, ideally, I wanted to fight at a catch weight and then take the belt off him that night. But um, he's coming down to my weight. So, after it'll be a good, to, it'll be good to defend it. And then once I've defended it, then I'll be looking to either go up the weight or to maybe secure uh, national or whatever. So, so what you got to do, right, is you've got to fight for the, for the belt at your weight. And then you've yeah. got to go to his weight and you've got to fight for the belt at his weight. Indeed. And then you can only be declared the unanimous champ. Absolutely, yeah. And that, that's what I find a bit odd and a bit strange. Because obviously if I completely destroy him in the first round, then it seems pointless to fight him again. But I'll do whatever, whatever needs to be done. Well, the words that it, this guy's using, ID, if he if he completely destroys you in the first round, it's not like if he beats you, it's like if he completely destroys you, this guy sounds confident. I think he uh, knows what he's going to do to you on that night, ain't you? Yeah, mate, I've come to fight. Um, I'm not mucking about. I've gone from three, four times a week training to five, maybe seven times a week. I'm in the gym, non-stop, it's like my second home. So, yeah, 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 he's in trouble. We're going to see the real John Martin this time. Okay, so ID Hill, you're in trouble, mate. If you got any response to that, let me know. And uh, what's the date of the fight? Uh, 14th of March, Thunder in London. So if you ain't got tickets, get some tickets. And what's your Twitter or Facebook or anything like that? Um, yeah, I'm John Martin on uh, Facebook. Um, hashtag House of Pain. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Just looking forward to it. Um, get in touch with me for tickets. Cause it's going to be a special night. Okay, guys, with John Martin, he's bringing it on March the 14th. Nice to interview, and I'm looking forward to it. Faith from Boxing Evolution TV. Over and out.